this video, I'm going to show you how to find int school of sine squared of x. The way we do this is we look at the addition formula for cos. So, cos 2 of x equals cos squared of x minus sine squared of x. And we also know that cos squared of x plus sine squared of x equals 1. These are both identities. So let's sub this one into this one. So if we rearrange for cos, cos squared of x equals 1 minus sine squared of x. So now we want to substitute this cos into this one. So if we move this down here, cos of 2x equals 1 minus sine squared of x minus sine squared of x. So we can simplify this as 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. Now let's solve for sine squared of x. So 2 sine squared of x equals 1 minus cos 2 of x. And if we divide both sides by 2, we get sine squared of x equals a half minus cos 2 of x over 2. And we can integrate this, so we're just going to substitute it in here. So this equals the integral of a half minus cosine of 2x over 2 dx. So integral of a half is just x over 2. And integral of cosine is sine. So sine of 2x because we can't change the 2x here, and this will be over 2, but we need to think about the reverse chain rule. So if we were to differentiate this, we'd have to differentiate sine to get to cos, and that would give us this, but we'd also have to differentiate inside the function, so we'd multiply by 2. So if we integrate this, we need to reverse that, essentially. So we have to mu uh, multiply by a half, and this is plus c. So this gives us x over 2 minus sine of 2x over 4 plus c. And there you go, integral of sine squared of x.